A united voice for Windsor workers opposing government actions. That's the message from organizers at the May Day rally in March from City Hall. Windsor Workers Action Centre President Paul Chislett says workers have already been pushed around and kicked down. How can we stand by and take this? The theme today is about stopping Harper. The only way I know and what we try to do is to, is to enter into dialogue with each other, try to organize where, where we're at. May Day organizer Ian Cloth says everyone needs to come together to defend their rights. I think it's important for people to become aware of what's happening in their communities. May Day has always been a celebration as well as an act of resistance. Chizit says many Windsor workers are afraid to raise too much of a fuss because of the high unemployment rate in the area. It's accurate to call it an assault. The governments are, are pulling back from the, from the social contract that used to exist where we workers could negotiate a share of the wealth. And that whole thing's been thrown out the window, and yet we haven't res we haven't responded fast enough. And we need to figure out ways to to organize. Uh, and this is a perfect example because there's all kinds of different workers here. Representatives from CAW, QP, and the horse racing community all spoke at the event. The government already received 75 cents. They re received billions upon tens of billions of dollars on the slots at racetracks program. They, in essence, are uh, taking my, not only my future, but my heritage away. It was the fifth annual rally hosted by the Windsor Workers Action Centre. Melanie Brelli, Blackburn News.